Erica. <laughs> You're on. All right. Good morning. Uh, I'm David Ferris, President and CEO of your Rocky Mountain Area Chamber of Commerce, and welcome. Um, we're really excited. This is um, almost like a new beginning for us, I would think, Kelly. Um, we have today Kelly Lee, who's going to lead us this year in our journey um, with the Twin County Leadership Program. That's one of our true signature educational events uh, for Rocky Mount and the Twin Counties. Um, the graduates from years past will tell you how important this has been in their ability to have a better understanding of the business community and of some of the resources and also to network and friendships and peer groups have formed that have lasted years and years. And, and that's the key to most anything. And so we're really excited to have Kelly uh, join us this year. What's equally as exciting, I think, is you know here we are on a beautiful pre-spring day. It's been a, the best week, I think, in weather we've had since maybe mid-October. Um, unfortunately, you know, we've been inside this week. This is the first week day I've not worn a suit for meetings. And I really am happy. And Kelly, I apologize for underdressing today, but I just couldn't stand it. Um, so we're, we're real excited. And we also hope that by delaying the start of this a few months, it will give you, the participants, a better opportunity to have fewer Zoom sessions and more hands-on. Um, I, I do hope you take advantage when the opportunity presents itself to have your vaccination. Um, my wife and I had ours. Our second one was a little over four weeks ago. Um, and I don't know, it just, everything feels better. And to me, getting this back on, on track after last year, um, just, I, I feel like we're beginning now to get back to whatever the new normal is gonna be but certainly getting back to um, a time in our lives and in our business lives um, where it seems a little bit more normal and we'll take lessons learned and, and apply them whenever. And um, Kelly, I wanna turn it, turn it over to you this morning. Again, welcome and thank you for agreeing to help us this year. Absolutely, thanks. David and Desiree. I'm excited to be here with you today virtually. Sad I'm not in the office space with my friends there, but glad to be with you all today. I'm Kelly Lee, and I, most of you might know me from my role locally with the North Carolina Community Foundation. I've been with the foundation for 14 years now, so that's where a big chunk of my time of my work life has been spent and I work in 18 counties. Um, I also work with Duke University to teach in their uh, nonprofit management certificate program. But prior to my life in the nonprofit sector, I also worked in the hospitality industry and in retail. I worked in the faith-based space and I was a part-time supervisor for UPS for five years as well. So. I, I kind of have a salad bar type mentality with leadership because I've done a little bit of everything, which is kind of good. You get a lot of exposure to different people and different businesses and, and different philosophies. And I've worked with a lot of different leaders. My degree is in leadership in the public sector. And then I also have um, a master of science in management and leadership as well and recently just completed some training with the Disney Institute in leadership because that's my retirement plan is to go teach leadership <laughs> at Disney because where else is more fun to be. But I'm glad to be here today and talk with you a little bit about my ideas for the program this year. Obviously it looks a little different than in years past. And because we are starting out, thank you Desiree, we've got the schedule here of kind of what we're planning. So the first part, it's kind of broken into two parts. You've got the first three meetings, which are, are definitely going to be virtual. 
and they'll be from 9 to 11 in the morning. We'll meet via Zoom. And then there's a two-month break over the summer, but it's a break with an assignment. So you're, we're going to have a book club over the summer, and we're actually going to read the book. I don't know how many of you are in book clubs that you don't read the book. We are going to read our books, <laughs> but you'll have a choice of which book you're going to read. And hopefully that choice will be formed by some of the things that we discuss in those first three gatherings and the topics that we discuss there. And you'll get to pick which area that you want to dive a little deeper in. And then your group who has picked the same book will have a little cohort over the summer that you check in with each other. And then we'll see how things are looking in September. I would love for us to be able to be together in person for the final three meetings. And, and we're just gonna have to play that a little bit by year and see what the world's looking like by that time. Hopefully it's gonna be like David said, the sun shining today. We hope we're gonna have um, some brighter days ahead as far as being able to gather in person. But just to walk through a couple of the things and then we'll have some time for some questions at the end, just to walk through the schedule a little bit about kind of how the flow is going to be. The very first session, you know, we, we can't start talking about leadership without defining what our leadership style is. So we will be doing some type of assessment, some type of personality assessment. And I'm sure you've all done these before and there's tons of those out there. I personally love them. I know some people, you know, think they're a little hokey. Mine have always been spot on when I've done them. But we are gonna do some type of leadership assessment um, and you will receive that information. If you sign up for the program, you will receive that information ahead of time and take your assessment ahead of time. And then we'll come in with that knowledge of what those, those examples are. And we'll talk about di different types of leadership styles and the information within those assessments and how you can gear that towards uh, setting some goals for yourself in your leadership development. The next session in May will be on ethics and leadership. And this topic is going to focus um, not only on just the day-to-day the -day ethics that we face as leaders in our organizations, but we're also going to really have a, a large focus of diversity, equity, and inclusion. And we'll have a panel that's going to speak on this. So we'll have some local leaders. We'll have some outside folks who can come and weigh in and just have a really open discussion about diversity, equity, and inclusion within our organizations and within you know, business, nonprofit, faith-based, all of, all of those organizations and the importance of, of that focus. Our final session before the break is going to be on effective communication. And we'll talk about different types of communication styles and why there can be a conflict within our organizations if we are speaking in a way that others can't hear us or if we're speaking in a way that we can't be understood and vice versa. If other folks in our organizations communicate in a way that's not effective for our organization. So we'll talk about different types of communication styles and the effectiveness and how we can do a better job of getting our points across and also listening, listening to hear versus listening to respond. So we'll talk about those things with communication. Over the break, I mentioned a little bit, we'll have that book club over the break. We will have two to three different books that you can choose from and we'll talk about those as we move along so you can kind of have an idea of which books the books will be provided for you as part of the program. So we'll, we'll have those available and you can choose. A, if you're like me, you might want a hard copy book. I look at computers all day long. So I like to nestle down with a, a paperback book or a hardback book versus having an online version, but you might prefer an online version or even an audio version if you are in your car a lot or busy or it's just easier for you to listen while you do something else. So we'll have some options available for that as well. When we come back in September, we're going to focus on change management. How many of you are in a business or an organization that is on the brink of transition as far as leadership goes? We've got you know, staff that's retiring. We've got new folks coming in. We're going through restructures, any of those things. We're going to talk about how impactful the management of that change 
through leadership, through lateral leadership can be for an organization and how to make transitions as, as painless as possible and opportunities for growth within your organization and opportunities to identify emerging leaders within your organization and empower them through some of that change to make it more, more easy. And then our final session before the conclusion and wrap up is all about planning. It's strategic leadership from planning through implementation all the way through evaluation and how having um, you know, really strong leadership through any of that planning is, is crucial for a successful um, plan and development of that plan and success. And then in November, we are going to do our conclusion. We'll wrap up touching back on all of those concepts. I believe there's a graduation that takes place at some point. So we're, we're just going to move through all of these different sections hopefully build some bonds with other folks within your community and really just have a good time diving into leadership and really kind of dismantling some of those traditional, um, those traditional concepts of what leadership is, where it's the one person at the top and, and they make all the decisions and, you know, it's that top down model. We're going to look at other models like lateral leadership, empowerment, of folks as leaders, you know, leaders without titles, but still leaders nonetheless. So we're going to look at a lot of those different uh, models of what leadership looks like and how it can be a better functioning atmosphere within your organization. So that's a lot of talking in a short amount of time. I do want to open it up if anybody has any questions. Happy to answer any questions and answer any questions about the Perspective program that we're talking about or about myself or um, how we are going to have this structure. Um, Kelly, I just want to mention one thing before we open discussion. Sure. And um, if you guys look in the chat box there, I hope you all can see it. We do have a link to this presentation if it's something that you need to show your employer um, or those that you need to show so you can sign up. Also in the chat box is a link for the application. Um, and the fee is $750. Uh, we are given a COVID-19 discount. Uh, we do understand, you know, with some businesses right now, there might just been a difference in fiscal year last year. So this year we are given a COVID-19 discount. Um, so the fee is $750. Um, if you are to need to talk to either one of us or have your employer talk to us, um, we do have our contact information on the screen. I'll be assisting Kelly Lee with the program throughout the year. Um, and if you need anything from me, you can definitely contact me. But um, again, the application is in the contact over on the right in the chat screen. And also if you need a link to this presentation, we are trying to get this um, kind of in and please don't feel like if you missed the orientation, you definitely want you to have it there. But if for some reason you get to the 28th and you didn't get your application, we're not gonna say no. You know, we'll make sure we get you into those folks. Um, so let us know. We do want to have a start date of April 14th. So that is a hard start date. But right now we're trying to get applications in by the 28th, um, the orientation on the 30th, and we'll give you guys the time. And then, you know, 14th, we're ready to rock and roll. Desiree, some folks are saying they don't see anything in the chat box. I can see it. Let me go. I don't know. That my, my apologies. Give me one second. Setting. Give me one second. Of course, Zoom, you know, sometimes, let's see. Here we go. Sometimes you think you did it right, and then Zoom tell you, you did it wrong. <laughs> okay. So it should be there for everybody to see. And I'm sorry if you didn't get that originally. Is that available for people to see? now okay so that's the link to the application link to the presentation and then um my contact information and um whenever you guys are ready we can open up for a discussion if that's good with you kelly mm -hmm. questions mm -hmm. sure anybody have any questions no <laughs> um desiree i'm assuming that because of the COVID situation, we won't be doing any field trips with this. 
session of the program? So I will be honest at the beginning, it's just not feasible. Um, you know, when we normally did this, there was really, uh, you're on a bus and the bus is really a 20 seater and that's just not feasible right now. And especially, you know, we want to be as safe as possible. In the fall, that may be something that we can possibly do, but I really want to wait before we kind of do that because I would hate to tell you guys we're going to go somewhere and we don't, you know, but if COVID has cleared up, if safety procedures are there and if things can happen, we can definitely have um, that information shared with you. Hopefully when we do the uh, little break during the summer, we can go to and tell you guys, okay, we're gonna be prepared to do this. You know, we'll make sure if that is available, we will have um, transportation for you. Um, depending on what it looks like, there may be something where we ask you to drive. That's not something that we normally would do. It just, I mean, to be honest, just depends. But if I can get you guys transportation so you don't have to do that, I'll definitely have that available for you. Um, yeah, <laughs> Kelly Lee, let, let me make one little comment on our, our at the conclusion, we typically have had a, a dinner celebration where um, the participants and their sponsors uh, and spouse have been invited. We have it at Rose Hill. And this year we will continue that tradition, which we could not do obviously in 2020. And we will be having the participants from the class of 2020 with us as well as the class of 2021. So we're, we're trying to keep it as balanced and we've invited 2020 uh, class participants to join us this year. You know, we don't have to spend any time talking about what happened in 2020 unless you lived under a rock. Um, but we're, we're really excited and um, we're going to make it as inclusive as we can for both classes. Um, also, I want to piggyback on what David said. So I don't know if anybody is familiar. Normally with our graduation, um, we would actually you know, invite only the graduating party, the facilitator and maybe employer. Um, this year, and we do, once you go through the program, we always ask if you could be ambassadors of the program as well. So, you know, if you thoroughly enjoy it, when we do that, we're gonna have also open invitations to have others come. So, you know, you can definitely bring your employer, we'd love to have them, but if you know of anybody that you feel like this would be something that they would want to do, um, they can go to this. It will be a ticketed event. Um, we'll have a good celebration and also kind of the same little crowd of what we're doing now via Zoom. Hopefully it'll be more networking. We want, we are going to uh, invite some alumni. So maybe, you know, we can start getting that fostering of networking that, you know, unfortunately Zoom doesn't do, but so much of a justice for networking, but then maybe you get a face-to-face -face and see people and kind of get a community around um, others that went through the program. And there will be some reading between the sessions, um, just to let you know, it won't be anything terribly long, you know, a page or two, just for preparation of, of discuss, discussion topics, or there could be a survey between. So there will be a couple of emails or, or things that will be coming in between the sessions as well. All right, any other questions? All right, Desiree. <laughs> um, well, there are no more questions. Um, thank you, everybody that joined today. Um, I'm actually going to try to get this on recording sometime before next week on our Facebook page. Um, and if you want to follow us on Facebook, it's through Rocky Mount Chamber on Facebook. And we'll have this video. So if you even want to just share this with someone else and say, hey, look, this is what we talked about. This is what this program is going to be about. It's a little more in-depth and, you know, it's just leadership. Please share that. Um, please share the link that we shared as well. And again, if you have any questions about joining, uh, signing up, please let me know. Otherwise, uh, I really hope everybody has a good Friday Eve. Yeah. All right. See you later. <laughs> Thanks so much. See y'all soon.